Reviewing the rubric statistics can provide some information about the overall scores for an assignment, individual criterion statistics, and individual statistics for each individual student. Viewing these statistics can help you modify the assignment. You can look at the statistics and maybe see which criteria students are doing poorly on, and you can then modify that assignment or look at the instructions to make sure they make sense. To get to the rubric statistics, click on Edit Course on the nav bar, and then click on Rubrics. You're going to click on the context menu next to the rubric you want to look at the statistics, and click on View Statistics. On the next screen, you're going to see the items in the course that are associated with the rubric. So in this particular case, I have an SA1, it's a Dropbox, but I can have other items connected to the same rubric. In this particular case, I only have one, but if you think about discussions, where I have one discussion rubric, but it's connected to multiple discussions. What you're going to see is how many assessments have been done using this rubric, the, over, the average score, uh, and the average level. Now to view more detailed uh, statistics and drill down, click on the little graph icon under the Actions column. You're going to have three tabs here. The first tab, overall, is going to show you the number of assessments. It's going to give you an average of which uh, criteria the students have met, and it will give you a mode. You'll also see the overall um, average, uh, overall levels, and the frequency of each of those. So this gives you just a very broad overview of this particular rubric and how it's been used. Go ahead and click on the Criteria Statistics tab. And when you click on this tab, it's going to provide you frequency data for each individual criteria and each level. So here's the uh, criteria for ideas. And if I click up in the context menu here and click preview, this gives me an idea of what this rubric is that I can keep in mind. I didn't remember what that was. So you can see here, this gives me an idea that in organization, for example, the students are doing about average. Why is that? And maybe ask the students. The last tab, the individual statistics tab, this provides you with information about each individual student. It'll also provide you the level achieved for each student, the score for that student, who was the assessor, because you may have different assessors, and the date that that was assessed. So this gives you a little bit more information to allow you to see individually what the students have done. When you're done viewing the statistics, click on Close, and then to get back to the rubric uh, list, click on Close again.